YouTube friends, if you've got a knee cartilage problem, then you're going to want to listen to this video in its entirety. I'm going to cover with you today the secret exercise for knee cartilage repair. In this video, I'll talk to you about what exercise to do, what type of exercise to do so that you can successfully at home on your own repair knee cartilage. So let me tell you the secret knee cartilage repair exercise that you need to know so that you can fix your knee cartilage. It's glute exercises, glute muscle exercises. Now there's a slew of different types of glute muscle exercises that you can do. There's all kinds. And to give you a specific glute exercise to begin to do at home is a little challenging because it depends on many, many factors. It depends on how severe your knee cartilage problem is right now. It depends on how active you are right now, how active you want to become in the future, and also how well you can activate your glute muscles. So it's hard to tell you specifically. Now I've got tons of uh, videos that you can learn off of on our YouTube channel. If you head over to our YouTube channel and find our playlist for knee pain uh, exercises, knee pain videos, you'll find more glute exercises there. And another option that's way better, it's gonna be way more specific to what we're talking about with how to repair your cartilage, uh, would be to look into purchasing our 28-day knee health and wellness boost program. In this program, it's a 28-day program where each day there's something for you to do. There's a rest day included each week. On this 28-day program, we'll go into heavy details on what glute exercises to do, what time you should do them at, depending on, on where you are in your knee cartilage injury, um, how often to do them, all the details surrounding how to do these glute exercises. In addition to other exercises, it will go over how showing you how to repair your cartilage in your knees. Now let me just backtrack a bit. Glute muscle exercises to repair knee cartilage is almost unheard of at this point. A lot of people focus on the quad muscles. Now let me just get my thigh bone here, my, my knee joint here. If you think about the quads, the quads are on the front of the thigh right here. Here's a kneecap and they all attach to the kneecap. So the current thinking that's been the thinking really for decades, probably at least 30, 40, maybe more years, is that if there's a knee cartilage problem, in other words, the, the cartilage behind the kneecap and there's cartilage in the front of the thigh bone right where the kneecap sits, that cartilage is injured or damaged somehow, then the thought is to strengthen the muscles in the front of the thigh right here, the quadricep muscles. Now, a lot of people still do that. They still look for quad strengthening exercises and what they find is that when they do those quad exercises, that it, it kind of does feel good. It feels like you got to work out. You get that feedback that these muscles are tired, maybe even sore. But in the long term, what happens at the kneecap, at the knee joint, where the cartilage problem is, is those quad muscles pull that kneecap harder against the thigh bone and causes it to rub it slowly over time further down and injures the cartilage more over time. So want to avoid doing quad exercises. And if you're seeing a medical professional that's telling you to do this, I highly recommend you question them, show them this video if you want so they can think about it and, and, and critically think about what they're recommending to their patients a bit more. The research is out there showing that glute exercises are more beneficial for the kneecap problems than quad problems. Um, it's important that they think about that. And what we're trying to do by strengthening the glute muscles, which would be kind of over in this area relative to the bones, is it, it pulls this, this bone, the thigh bone, in a certain way that allows for decreased pressure at the kneecap joint. So by avoiding strengthening the quads in the front of the thigh and strengthening the glute muscles in the back of the hip, it indirectly changes the pressure in a good way to alleviate the cartilage pressure behind the kneecap. That is how we can repair knee cartilage in your knee using exercise. Now again, shameless plug here, I highly encourage you to check out our 28 day knee health and wellness boost program. If you wanna learn more about that program, just visit the link in the description below and you'll get to learn more about the 28 day knee health and wellness boost program. In that program, we go into 
detail about which glute exercises to do, how to do them, how often to do them, what you should feel during those exercises, and the focus is on reducing any discomfort in the knee. It should not hurt you for your knee as you're rehabilitating, as you're recovering the cartilage back there. Throughout the process, if anything, you might feel a little bit of grinding, clicking, popping, but nothing that should aggravate the knee and leave you feeling worse and worse each day. If that's the case, then you're doing exercises that are just not right for your knee at that time, or they may be not good for you at all. So keep in mind that fixing knee cartilage naturally behind the knee is a process. It's not just doing an exercise once or twice or even for a short period of time, a few weeks. And you, and you can't expect your knee cartilage to be repaired during that time. It's a process that lasts months, possibly for some that are more severe, even a couple of years. So hang in there, be patient, and talk to the right expert if you need some direct help about how to handle your knee cartilage problem. Don't underestimate the weight of this problem. It's not something that's a quick fix. The, the, in the medical field, it can come off that way since the people often prescribe medications or injections or surgery and they, they, they can lead you to believe un, unknowingly that it's going to be resolved within you know, one treatment or a few treatments. But the reality of fixing a knee problem, a knee cartilage problem naturally is it's a process. It's a lot like brushing your teeth. If you brush your teeth once or twice, you can't expect to never ever get a cavity. It's a process that you have to maintain over time and, and uh, possibly do different if you haven't been having the result that you're looking for. You might need to add flossing in there or use a mechanical toothbrush or use a different type of toothpaste or avoid eating certain kinds of foods. There's all kinds of factors to look at and think about so that you can properly manage that problem naturally without having to get some sort of invasive procedure done or rely on injections or medications. In the same way, as you're progressing through glute exercises, as you're trying different ones, as you're finding the right one that works for you at the right time, you gotta be patient and stick out, stick out the exercise program. And what you should feel, the way that you should know that you're doing things right, is your knee should be getting better and better as the weeks go by. You should feel less discomfort, less pain, a better ability to go up and down steps, stand as long as you like, and do more things that you love with family and friends, ideally. But the progress should be noticeable as you're going through it. You should feel like you're getting better week to week. So there you have it. There's a secret exercise to fixing your knee cartilage problem naturally. Thanks for watching YouTube friends. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you found that it was, do me a big, big favor and hit the like button right below here. And then a little over to the side over there, hit the subscribe button so that you can get notified whenever we release new content that might help you out in solving problems naturally without medications, injections, and without surgery. Have a great day friends. Bye-bye.